Five, four, three, two, boop. All right, we're back. Um, so we have some guests here, Michelle. That's right, we do. Yeah. We all and, watched this documentary, and we were fascinated by it, right? We were. And, and by the way, be, be, uh, during the break here, we were listening to some Flat Earth music. There's actually a lot of it on YouTube. Yeah, that's a big music scene, the Flat Earth music scene. It's surprisingly big. Yeah. Now, Mark, we, yeah. What, what, if you were to write, would, would you do an album with me if we... Uh... Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't do the songs, but there's a lot. We, there's a guy out there called the Flat Earth Man. He, was, he uh, did a whole album. All right. Well, John thinks he's a musician, so don't worry about him. So we have Pat- Patricia Steer and Mark yeah. Sargent here, of course, from Behind the Curve on Netflix, and they also do their own podcast, which we're going to give them a chance to talk about yes. our, our talk as well. John, I know you wanted to have these guys on because you're kind of a flat earther now, it right? Your Is interest, that John. It your interest, John. I mean, honestly, I, I watched the documentary. I was just – I was I was riveted. I, I, okay. I, 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 and, and I said, you know what? Let's have them on the podcast. And here you are. <laughs> so. Yeah. Random. This is episode 600. This is how we're celebrating. But Mark, yes. you actually have like a little video game past, right? You Did you design yeah. games or develop? I or did. What I did. Well, one, I was a ringer. I played games for a living back in the oh, 90s. For a, what did you play? I, just about everything that you could play back in the 90s. I was a, I was a ringer. then? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, what? Did you play in tournaments then? Was it pinball? No, no, good lord, no. Okay. The mid, no, I was playing them before they were actually players that, in teams, anything. Not like nowadays where you go over to Asia right. and there's all these teams and tournaments and stuff like that. Are you talking like Quake and stuff? Like, exactly, what were you doing? exactly. Uh, I was playing, I mean, there was not a lot out there. It was like, you know, Warcraft, yeah. Warcraft 2, Quake. Uh, Land parties. Yeah, yeah, land parties, Halo. absolutely, back in the day, and uh, so yeah, that and uh, one of my passions was uh, was old style pinball. I was very, very good, and I won a uh, world digital pinball tournament. And that's how I got. Now into... was the trophy flat? Nah, no, because no, I was, I was, I wasn't into it, into that back then. So. Oh, you were. That's right. No, not back He's then. He's a pinball wizard. Um, I, I don't want to be left out of the video game thing. Ah. I used to, I used to play the game pole position, not professionally, oh. in the, uh, in the eighties in arcades. I have one right behind me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love pole position. It's yeah. my favorite. It's my top two game. Uh, so, yeah. Mark, you said you weren't into flat Earth back then. What got both of you guys into it? Like, and then we'll kind of let john ask you some questions I oh no, that's cool i got into it in in 2014 uh, okay. i was just looking through youtube i was bored with just about everything i was i thought i'd basically finished the internet or finished youtube mm-hmm. in this case and looked at some guys over in europe that were kind of toying with the idea of flat earth and i said oh this is the stupidest thing i've ever heard and tried to debunk it over a weekend which was the worst thing ever and then nine months later i made a series of videos called flat earth clues put out in the beginning of 2015 which basically mm-hmm. said hey Prove me wrong. Prove it in a court of law. Prove the globe to me in a court of law. And I thought somebody would do that and shoot me down and I can get back to my normal quiet life. And instead, the opposite happens. And here we are four years later. All right. And did you ever get in a plane during that time? Of course. <laughs> no, 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 you've of heard course it all. I did. Just, well, what no, I, I did, I did business talk? travel for a living. I taught proprietary software for 20 years. And so I traveled yeah, all I over know. the place. And no, no, I, I know the argument. It's like, no, no, you can. No, please. People say they can see the, the curve from a plane. Uh, but then again, I get people to say they can see curve from the beach. And yet Neil deGrasse Tyson comes on and says, you can go up 60 miles and still never see the curve. So right. who's right Which and who's true. wrong? I don't know. There you go. Right. And Patricia, how did you get uh, sucked into this? <laughs> hmm. Well, uh, in 2015, I was just looking at many other things on YouTube. And one video led me to another video. And I just kept looking at things of interest. And then one day on the sidebar on YouTube, I saw something called Flat Earth Clues. And uh, it was a single video and he'd done a couple others and I found these in March of uh, 2015 and started watching them as he put them out and it was fascinating and as I waited for him to drop another video and I didn't know Mark at all mm-hmm. I was you know looking around at other flat earth videos thinking this is really a thing I thought that was an ancient uh, an ancient story that'd been debunked and didn't we go to the moon and now, all that and next so thing that, you know we're does that friends. Tie in, does that tie into it as well then there's um is that Part and parcel of flat earth is that the moon landing doesn't exist either oh yeah, yeah i think that's a that's the gateway <laughs> drug in a way <laughs> yeah. well, i was gonna cool. say yeah. like so have you did you go down all these roads and I, i've been down them you know like tower seven and oh yeah and sure hitler fled to argentina yeah you know, boys from and, brazil yeah 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 
<laughs> so are you attracted to conspiracies? Just, yes. I'll call them that in general. It's not just the Earth thing. You feel like there's a lot of I, stuff. That I, oh, yeah. I mean, look, it's with, with everybody. It's In fact, I talked about this on an interview I did uh, just recently, which was like what makes a conspiracy person. It's like, look, we all know we live in a world full of lies. Of course. You know, in just about everything. Business, politics, sports, entertainment, journalism, even science. The question is what you're willing to to buy. You know, everyone's got that, that line they've drawn in the sand. And most people, you know, it's, it's fairly close to them. So, yeah, of course I believe in a lot of conspiracies. But when I got into Flat Earth, all those conspiracies became second tier, second shelf. And, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, you, you start there, you have to be somewhat open-minded. And then when you get into flat earth, you have to revisit everything because like, okay, right. if you're lying about yeah. okay, this, so, then yeah. So before we kind of get into the documentary, can you just give our listeners kind of the elevator pitch here for flat earth? And I watched, sure. I watched some of your videos and I, I, I really found it. And by the way, I have to tell you something yeah. that, that, that kind of, made me question the universe right oh my god no I, i'm being do serious. it like, do it preach what do you got like <laughs> like um so like about 15 years ago or so i started traveling to china right all right and my mind couldn't comprehend the route we were going right right <laughs> and and that route you know goes over the north pole and all that because i thought i was getting on a plane and going like over california hawaii all that shit, right yeah and 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 it completely lines up with the flat earth map, which happens to be the United Nations map, yep. the route that we took from New Jersey to Hong Kong. Right. So, <laughs> I, I mean, it's true. It's yeah. totally true. Like, Did you I, notice the time zones right. changed during that time? That, like, what do you think? There's a guy in the sky with Venetian blinds? No, like, no, no. You can sun, still but... no, oh, get. No. Let, let no, me, no. Let, me right, lay it, right. let me lay it out for you a little bit here. Yes, what we're talking yes. about, because it, it's way yeah. bigger than that. I mean, the concept is so big, and we don't have time to go into all the details, but let right. me give you the, the quick. Right. Uh, a hundred mile overview of the, the thing. And that is the world is not a globe spinning mm -hmm. through space in five different directions in an impossible right. universe. Well, it one is, direction. Sorry, what? One direction, not five different directions. Actually, actually, actually I don't want, all right, we won't get into that. Well, it's, supposedly, down, right? it's supposedly tilted on its <laughs> axis and it's spinning, but yes. then it's also turning right. and going through the quote. Yeah, I mean, if it's spinning around, if it's spinning around the earth, I mean, yes, technically it's going in one direction, but it's not exactly a straight direction, is it? I mean, it's going around the sun. The solar system is traveling sideways at half a million miles an hour, and the galaxy is supposedly traveling at millions of miles well, an hour. Well, the same hour. reason why if you're in a car and you throw a ball in the air, you catch it, because you're yeah. moving, it's moving, but yeah, there's, I'm so sure there's... This yeah, is yeah, yeah. less believable than there's a giant ice wall surrounding the Earth? That nobody's ever seen or found? And that We've doesn't affect it. the temperature of you the Earth? You saw it? Okay, you guys it. saw no, it. No, no, you've seen it too. Anytime you've seen a picture of Antarctica and the okay. ice wall that's right there uh, yeah, where by the, the way, ocean is, that's, that's not a wall. the ice wall. That's, the, that's not, uh, that's not the, a wall. Why isn't the water running off the edges? Because like, what happens you're with global living warming? living basically in a giant saltwater lake that's inside a structure. Is okay. what we're basically saying. I mean, you're okay. if we're talking about the world, is, the world which you're living in is a giant uh, structure, a planetarium, we're a terrarium. Room. We're just a, a sl flat slice now in, wait. Like, surrounded yes. by something is, else. Thing. Is it a simulation? <laughs> oh, that's a whole nother level. If that's you another that story. That, that I, I, I can actually think about. That well, is well, interesting. Well, no, let's think about this. Is it I just like a matrix and type from yes. a, And yes. from a video, from, from your background, yeah, yes. yeah, you know what? You you you're absolutely have a right to ask that. Most of the time, most people don't ask me that because it's it's too hard to explain. Unless you've gone into software development a little bit and right. you know combine that with physics, it's, it's not going to make much sense to people. But yeah, if it is flat and it is enclosed, there's a high degree of probability, and there's a lots of science that will chime in on this, that it is a simulation. Yes. And that the double slit experiment concepts. screams that, and so does quantum entanglement, and so does and neuroscience and free will experiments. Explain, of course, that's actually interesting because we can't prove it's not true. But I feel like with flat Earth, we can kind of prove it's not flat. Why, so why would it be? That's, that's why would it be that though? Because remember, you... every simulation we build is flat and enclosed. Every mm -hmm. single one of them. Every game you've ever well, that except... argument though, how would it apply to real life? Well, that's just it. What's real life? We're going to get right down to it. Well, let me let me ask you the burning question. I and mean, I'm watching this documentary, and yeah. I'm thinking, okay, say say I say I came to your conference and I bought in. My burning question is, why? And and before I let, let me finish, why and who? And and, and <laughs> say, but just wait. But to say they, I think, yeah. is a very it's a big cop out. This a conspiracy of this nature would it not take millions upon millions of people 
to keep under the hood. We're talking about fifteen dollar an hour plane. No, 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 not not no. at all. It's not like the Manhattan. But Mark, pro- didn't you watch the flights and they never went over the ocean? Basically, more or less. Yeah. Isn't that? What oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no, yeah, no they the went. They, they went that, somewhere, but they didn't but the latitude, it. but the latitude she... and longitude weren't being tracked. Meaning, Patricia, what? The, the okay, la- the la- in, there's a woman named Hannah Lore. You saw behind the curve. I think she had maybe pink hair and a nose ring. It, well, you know the one I'm speaking of, okay? Now, yeah. that woman, I'm only describing her physical appearance because just to remind anyone who's seen behind the curve who we're speaking of, she was a, is she an astrophysicist, Mark? I think so. Uh, yeah, young. Something like that. Anyway, been, yeah. she did something to disprove flight routes by just looking at planes and saying, where'd you go, little guy? Oh, look, you're but over here. Did that, you prove it flat Earth any, by doing the no. same? looking at a screen and saying, oh, look at this little guy, he's going nowhere? I mean, it's the same credibility of she scientific was process. was wrong and didn't have the background information to know what she was looking at. Well, and I'm sure there are, there's, oh. there's P- she didn't know what she was looking at when it came to plane routes, which is- And why, and why was someone in astrophysics expertise. commenting on plane routes? Why is someone like you commenting on an ice wall that surrounds the earth? Tell me your background. Why, why are you the best person? I've never said I was the best person. I hated Flat Earth when I got you into this. You propped yourself up as the No, 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 no. By no, the way, no, who, no. Is, who is that Let's kind of like honest. evil guy with the model in the background all the time? In the That's yeah, Matt. That guy. <laughs> what? It's Matt. It's Matt Boylan. Yeah, he's... <laughs> Yeah, Matt. Matt is the villain in this story because all this. All, none of the scientists wanted yeah. to. Uh, they said everything with a smile on their face, and they wanted an antagonist. So they picked one of our own, which happens to be a, a great choice in this. In this. Do you believe movie. that we are kind of turning right? You don't believe the sun is like. How, how do you think seasons happen? You think we're actually rotating around, but we're no, just flat? Like, no, no, no. You're not. We're not going, moving at all. You're not, we're not moving, moving at all. anywhere. You're, you're in a diagram. building, okay. and the sun and the moon are tiny, tiny objects that are just flying above us. That's all it is. One is an incandescent light bulb. The other is an LED, for lack of a better term. Really? How do I get a suntan then? Because I get pretty dark with that little. You, bulb. you can't. You can't get a suntan with a heat lamp or a suntan bulb. No, I've, I've done tanning both. salons have. There's actually a difference between a tanning salon tan and a suntan. You get browner in the tanning bed. You get. There's liquid tan, but... too. She's a globalist. Just... I'm sorry. Oh no I'm no no! I know. I get it. Two two. I get both of you are globalists and and. Uh, but can we go? I, I, I go back to my question about who and why. You believe in it and you're yeah. charismatic and you're you know is there any yeah. part of you that's trolling though and trying to take advantage of the mentally ill or the crazy at all? Is there any part of you that's trolling or trying? to take advantage of the mentally ill same no, because question. i'm not preaching anything i'm listening to the yeah, scientists and the experts you're, that's what i that's listening. who i turn to if i don't if you're i'm not an expert on something i go to the experts that's you're listening to oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa. who exactly who, who exactly are the experts here the men in the white who coat do you, who do you define as science i think that's the big definition here you define science as this this shadowy group of conspiracy no no, no, no not at all you know, not mark, at all mark I, what made some really good good points in his videos because he if you guys haven't seen his videos he has like the reader's digest version of all this and you know, like, I mean, basically the globe, the globe as we know it that we see in our classrooms was invented like, you know, 500 fucking years ago. Right. 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 And no one could get higher than a fucking mountain to see the curvature of the earth. So right. how do we even know that was it? And right. they basically have doubled down on the globe. Right. I mean, exactly. Basically- exactly. If, if so, Look, and I'm not I'm not saying that all science is bad. I'm just saying that science isn't incorruptible. Like, you know, when, when Neil deGrasse Tyson comes out and he says science is right, whether or not you believe in it. That's one of the most arrogant things I've ever heard about in my life. Wait, what about the if, photos Japan has of the Earth? Like, you believe those are fake, right? Absolutely. No, I'm saying okay, it's, it's worse than that. Meaning so where's every... your scientific process on proving those to be... That's what I'm the, saying. No. I think I think the term science in this documentary is used to describe people. Well, it's the same reason I'm not process, religious, right? because I don't like things you can't prove. And I just feel like if you guys want... Like, I'd like you guys to start proving some stuff. Photos you know, Do you, think, do you have space. plans of that? Okay. Sure. Japanese photos from space look different than American photos which from space. Which look different from Russian and photos. And by the way, uh, why, listen... why are why are there so few photos of the Earth? Right? right? Isn't there are, aren't there very few photos of the Earth that There's... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they Actually, didn't even talk none. about this. Technically speaking, they're all mm. according to even NASA and the other space composite? agencies, yes. composite images. They're not a full total picture of Earth. And if the ones from one country look different from another country, I don't mean that they look like they're different because they're coming from a different angle. I mean the size of the continents, the color of the water, the color of the land masses, the size of the actual Earth being from the mm-hmm. same distance. That's weird. Yep. The perspective of where they were taken. No, I just said it wasn't uh, no, 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 because no. of the I mean, come on. The first blue marble shot ever taken. They didn't even talk about this do- in the documentary. First blue marble shot ever taken in 1972. You know how long yeah. it took them to take the second one? 
43 I'm years. I'm sure there's a lot of bad PR going on, right? A lot of lies that were from the past. And we all know that the government has lied, of course, in the past. Things have been and, proven. And that could be muddying these waters, too. I'm well, not saying that everything we hear is true. I am definitely, you know, a so, skeptic. And so the, I think it's good to question things. But So what the, the question is, and of course, you, you're, you're, you're kind of there in a way, which is, okay, you, you know there are lies out there. But this may be too big to swallow. I get it. I absolutely get it. <laughs> But well, you were once me, Mark, right? I mean, I could be you in 10 years, right? I mean, this absolutely. Is, Matt, you can have am, an awakening, I, right? It yeah. took me, I hammered on this thing. The question Go I pose, I'm I just genuinely curious. In, in, in the society, what is the common theory for who and why? This is a. This is. You mean why? A, a, a why secret. the secret or who built why it? Why the secret and well, why the secret? Who built it and okay. who's keeping the secret going? Okay, completely di two completely different things. Uh, as far as keeping the secret, that would be human beings. Uh, human beings figured it out. Okay, the, the short version is the United States and Soviet Union figured it out in about 1960 when they were exploring Antarctica and said, okay. We got to we got to lock this thing down, and then they sealed off Antarctica for all time. The Antarctic Treaty is unbreakable since 1959, and they sealed the upper edge up. They militarized space, announced the Van Allen radiation belt, and then and that was it, really it. And so, not a lot of people had to be involved. I mean, yeah, but what I'm saying is 99 percent of the NASA people, yeah, they turn wrenches, they build things, but the the real guys, the guys that need to know, are the telemetry guys and those those people above them. So very very few need to know compartmentalization. That's the rule of the day. As far as who built this place, it's only one of two things, and that is either a really advanced civilization, you know, that's way bigger than us and way older than us, or if you want to go down the religious side, the divine. You pick one of the two, and really you're now, split, in, splitting in, hairs. In the in the flat Earth world, is it? Is it mostly like Bible type people or, it's, or it, not? Or, it's about, or... it's it's at least 50%. And Patricia and I mm -hmm. can both attest to this. We've done multiple conferences and at mm -hmm. least 50% of the audience is hardcore Christian. At and least in the United the, States. Does, does That's the Bible, not shocking. It usually attracts a certain type. Does the Bible reference the earth as, as being flat? Because they, they, it references the, <laughs> the crust, right? Absol the, uh... Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, yeah. there's okay. there's been people, and I won't be able to quote chapter and verse as much yeah. as as much as others. Right. So does the Quran. I, so I does like the Quran. Other, yeah, I mean, other ancient texts. Right. The, well, all, all religions are basically the same, right? Isn't that the joke? Yeah, a guy th three of them 25th. are the uh, Judaism, yeah. Christianity, and Islam have a lot of similarities. Yeah. Buddhism and, and Hinduism, not so much. But it doesn't really matter. They're yeah. all five... They got a stake in this. And to, to your question, earlier question, yes, the there's only one Bible verse. As a matter of fact, pastors are having a really, really hard time with this because there's only one Bible verse that even hints at the globe. And that is uh, Isaiah 40, 22, he who sitteth upon the circle of the earth. Well, circle is not globe. It's not ball. It's not sphere. Well, we also thought like, you know, other things in the past that have proven to be incorrect. Sure. I mean, the, the, thought, the, I, like, you know, I'm not going to say the lightning was going off, that that was God was mad. You know, like we thought things that we he had is. disproved. Is that yeah. what it is? I don't know. I just, I don't want to look at peasants. I don't want to look at peasants That's right. from bowling. Like, That's right. before we had fire, you know, to, to, to look <laughs> but, but, for my, so but, if, but, if we're, if we're supposed to question that the earth is round right, or globe, right. do you guys like, should people question that it's flat? Like, how can you commit to that fully? If you, if you, I understand you don't want to commit to the earth being a globe, but how can you commit to it being flat when neither has proof in your eyes? Here's, here's I actually don't want to commit to the okay. earth being flat. It only became the way I look at the world because okay. of the preponderance of evidence. I didn't go through my life thinking, oh, I want the earth to be flat. I hate the globe. I didn't even ever think that we lived on a globe. I just lived life and doing fun things and interacting with my family and friends and my pets. And I wasn't looking for flat earth. I wasn't looking for something to quote, make me feel what special. What was the single piece yeah, of evidence that did it for you? Point. Well, it yeah. started with the moon landing and then we didn't go to the moon. And then after I figured that out, and many people have, it's not as crazy as one might think, you wonder why did they lie about that? Right. And then once you de debunk the fact that it wasn't a space race with Russia issue, then you've got to look a a little further and then all the pieces of evidence fit into place and then right. after that the flat earth community since 2015 have done uh, a series of well some call them experiments some call them demonstrations in order to prove many different things and one of those is the earth doesn't move right it doesn't we move. have no experiments let, that there's let, movement experiment. on let, earth. let me give you the let me give you the short version real quick on this this might scare you a little bit and that is could I prove to you the flat earth without a shadow of the doubt right now? No. Could I create so much reasonable doubt in the globe that you have nowhere else to turn but some sort of flat model? Yes. 
and that's where that's why the flyer community has grown to the size it has is because yeah you may not know exactly how the flyer system works but you know it's kind of ethereal ethereal in a lot of people's heads but no mm -hmm. one can go back to the goal we've got a 99 percent retention rate right now that that stacks up better than just about any organized religion or club that's out there and so when you when you go to these conventions like like how many people like show up like are in the audience i'm just curious i don't know how many do we have in north carolina Hundreds? 500 yeah. between 200 yeah. to 500 depending right. on location yeah and i mean this year you know we haven't really started yeah we haven't just we just started but, in march but, but, now, but we, have, more. we have conferences so what, what, now in new zealand and england and the netherlands and uh America as well. Yeah, America. All right, so th there's a lot to unpack here, obviously. And uh, <laughs> so I guess let's talk about the movie because this is where we found, found you guys, you know. So sure. it's, it's a documentary called Behind, Behind the Curve. Right. Um, it's kind of a bit of a hit piece, a oh, little yes. bit. Oh, yeah. Very, yes. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it's very subtle, but it's there, oh, right? Yeah. The, di the digs and all that, you know. Well, one of the, and, they had you disproving it according yeah. in their narrative. At Pow least, uh, power of right? editing. You got to remember the director in this case, by the time he got to done finishing this film, he hated Flat Earth. Hated it. Have you ever seen, he, have you ever yeah. seen it, the movie King of Kong? It's, it's, oh, yeah, uh, I have. Are you kidding? Of course I've watched King of Kong. It's almost like the King of Kong of Flat Earth. Yes. Honestly. Yeah, actually, yeah. it's a pretty decent comparison, even though it's a yeah. weird comparison. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a decent I know, comparison. I know a lot of people that were in King of Kong, and they had no idea what movie they were in. Well, I don't think you should do a documentary yeah. with an agenda. So if yeah. that was the case, that's not good. Right. You, know, you should kind of listen to both well, sides and let he, the audience yeah. decide. Let me, if, if you don't mind, what happened was, uh, the, the, and I, I heard about this over the, Patricia and I listened when uh, we were listening to the director's commentary on the iTunes, uh, iTunes version, which was when they were just going to treat it like a human interest piece. And when they got to a certain point, though, when they got to the conference, which was late in the shooting and it was at the end of the movie, when they got to the conference, they realized how big Flat Earth was and how serious it was and how the people were serious. And and they were looking at the kids involved, you know, that there were you know younger people getting involved with this thing. And they decided, OK, we're going to take a stand against this. And that's why they took the digs they, they did. Can I be honest? The, the kid going up to the mic... And, and, and when I entered this documentary, I was sympathetic to, you know, l like Michelle said, you guys are very charismatic, mm -hmm. well-spoken, and, and you smart. You seem very likable and smart, very, definitely smart, which so, is why it's frustrating, because it's but, like, but you the don't... Frustrating, the frustrating part to me was, let the adults have their fun with this idea, and, and we're not going to convert We're not any... doing this to have fun. That's but, not why we're doing it. We have fun, but that's not why we're doing okay, it. So, okay, wait, so, so much let me, criticism let me and stress. But let me yeah, I can imagine. Thought. I wouldn't want to deal with that. I'd be worried I'd be getting death threats it's, or anything else. It's I not wouldn't... for fun, and it's not yeah. for money. But let me com if it's not for fun, it's not for money. Why not just let the kids out of it? That that's the thing that frustrates me. How, how do you they're how parents, do you let the kids out of it? it? If, if right. no one's pressuring them, they we're, look, we have, we're not a we have, we're not a you're cigarette company. Kids to go into their science class and yell out in class the earth. No, isn't. we flat earthers have never done that. Children well, just look online. And no, no, the kids, the kids did that, that themselves. We didn't ask the kids to do. I know what you're talking about though. And let me let me ask you real quick. So the 12 year old walking up to that microphone that really bothered you, didn't it? It really bothered me because yeah. there was an applause afterwards when I think it was you or someone else in the documentary told the story about but Matt. That's his parents' fault, not their fault. That's, you know, that's, be, that's what I was saying. You know, like, okay, that's not but, you, but they're, not, they're not trying to be role models, but it's right? Like, no, it's, it's like it's, it's like sucking the, in these yeah. kids who are growing up with this idea too. And if if the whole concept is to be open minded, I right. feel that's contrary to the. But it's the <laughs> parents. So so it's it, no. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, because no, I I've heard this before, and so it's all fun and games until the kids are involved, and then it's too real. Then it's like okay, enough joking. Let's let's pull this back. That's that's what you're saying because that's what the director did, and that's what National Geographic did, and that's what other people have done. It's like okay, that's fine, but we're not recruiting. That's just it. We flat Earth doesn't care about religion or gender or. Uh, uh, race or or age, we don't care. It's like, look, if you're in, you're in. We're not going to recruit you. We're not like Joe Camel with cigarettes out there. The way I see it is, what harm are you really doing? Because there's a lot of, in my opinion, bad or questionable information out there. And if you want to believe it and spread the word, it's freedom of speech, Matt. So I feel like you know, with the kid, like that's up to his guardians or his parents. Oh no, I mean, no, you, I, you, you guys aren't hurting anybody. I'm all for freedom of speech. I'm not for. Wait, Matt's Canadian, so that could be. <laughs> I'm not oh, we have a lot of Canadians. Oh yeah, we've been in Canada got... for several different uh, events, in fact, conferences, etc. Behind the curve Formally actually welcome. premiered. The world premiere was at the uh, Toronto Film Festival. Where are the most yeah. flat earthers living? Is it America or? 
Um, mm. America, followed by probably Canada, then England, okay. then Europe, and England. then. Australia. Australia's got some. Right. Uh, well, um, oh, we've got a whole bunch of them uh, in uh, like Spain and um, Japan. You know, there's there's countries that I don't speak their language. Exactly. But we do know there's a pre uh, a, a definite right. presence. So I mean, we're going to a conference in New Zealand in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So I, I want to go back to the movie though. So like, so so ultimately, this was kind of a, a hit piece on you guys. Right. And. But I kind of get the sense that you actually like the movie, or how do you feel about it? Mm -hmm. Pat well, Patricia, go ahead. She has okay, her side. Okay, so the thing about the movie I do like, well, okay, they told us it would be a fair and balanced look at the flat earth community. Right. And in the making, they didn't do that. We didn't know there would be these quote unquote experts, et cetera, et cetera, or the digs. Right. So we all were filmed differently, you know, and Mark and I got filmed together a couple different times. But uh, we were filmed as well at the conference. And then we didn't really know what they were going to come up with other than just us being us and kind of an interesting, hey, flat earthers are kind of intelligent maybe they might believe different than i do but huh here's their community interesting we thought that's what it would be but it turned out to be something else and to me that makes it very distasteful however because of the film even if there's digs and even if people are mm -hmm. saying that oh flat earth experiments proved to the earth you're getting the world, attention right you're getting followers you're getting there YouTube are people subscribers. looking into it more than yep. ever before emails uh, i mean Twitter you're on our podcast right? exactly yeah, i mean exactly. it's it's, it's and, no publicity is. is I is mean, perfect. honestly, right. they they could have went way harder on you too because it was really subtle how they edited it. Oh yeah, well, they the edited last Mark scene was very and subtle. I into a romance. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they they added Mark and I into a romance, and although we love each other as friends, um, that it that was a weird like what? I mean, they the the guy filming me asked me about my relationship with Mark. Natural question. Right. But then they filmed this. They put this scene in that looked like a misty remembering yesteryear scene of Mark and I walking, as if that was a film of the first now, time. Now, were you ever questioning this on the film? Because I feel like they at least edited it like you were, Patricia, because they had you kind of saying, "Well, with all these kind of, I see that there's some people around me that are kind of weird, yes. kind of conspiracy theorists, and it makes me wonder mm -hmm. if I'm one of these people." Did you have? And a then moment? I said no, but it wasn't okay. a moment about me and my beliefs. But it okay. makes me wonder. Any normal, sane, rational person would have that moment if they're surrounded by the very small amount of flat earthers who are kind of crazy. By the way, in every group, there's crazy people. But why I mean, we all crazy? know it, right? But hold on, I mean, that's that's a sticking point too. Why would why are there crazies in your group if your whole philosophy is that anything's possible? Because any group at all, if you've got a stamp collecting group, a car collecting group, a dress making but group, maybe they're right. Maybe they know people. something maybe you they're know right. that you might why know would, in ten years. Yeah. Why wouldn't you give them the benefit no. of the doubt, like you? No, other no, 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 no. They're no, they're not talking on. about crazy things. They're saying oh, why not? You can't disprove what they're no. talking about. <laughs> they're saying that I'm a man. I, I, okay. I can just prove <laughs> that. And no, okay, that's that's crazy. But you know what I mean. It's weird whole, uh, infighting it's jealousy, like in any car. Yeah, every, every group's is going to have. I mean, yeah. levels of do, enthusiasm. Of yeah. Yeah. But if this group is about inclusion and about opening minds, I don't see there being room for self-described crazies. You There's you talk about camps in the documentary. Office. Yes. You talk about camps. Yeah. So how can there how can there be people of with opposing ideals in a community that's about exploring the unknown and sorry yet to be proven because let's be frank in the documentary yourself you said the evidence is coming we've got money we're gonna do it well, sure. i'm looking forward the evidence to that i'd like to see some what you guys i guess would define as scientific experiments and i'd like to see some actual science you know factual proof because i know like joe rogan was just had alex jones on and alex was telling joey diaz that i will put you in a plane and i will fly you to, no, the, to Al alex ball, right? jones yeah, by the way i i gotta yeah. make a comment because his his guys contacted me back at about the same time we were shooting that documentary and yeah. the question was very interesting he goes how long well it wasn't him it was his producers and he said how long can we do a show on flat earth without actually saying flat earth and that's, i go that's an odd question i go about 10 minutes they go sorry we can't do it it's too risky the blow the blowback's going to be too much and that was so you it. Feel and that I that's never got that. Joke. It's, a, it's true, right? Because of the paranoia around it. Because I don't see the paranoia personally. I feel like what's the big deal if people want to think something, in my opinion, which is wrong, let them. But but there does seem to be like this uh, shut them down kind of thing, is what you're saying. You yeah. People... Well, it's it's too big. It's too heavy for a lot of people. I mean, there was lots of people wrote me and said, look, you're turning the whole universe into a one room apartment. 
And I go, yeah, but it's a really nice one room apartment. And I mean, I had people yelling at me on Colin shows saying, look, how so you don't believe there's any other planets or, or life or things you, outside you, of the earth. You, you see, believe we're the center. Yeah. You see planets and stars and little things. I see lights. I see lots okay. of pretty lights. But what about the, okay. <laughs> pretty, the mirrors pretty on the moon? That's lights. What hey, by the way, look, look, when people you say, you know, it's like, oh, don't you see, you know, the moon, it shines. Like, what do you do with you know, waxing and waning crescents? I'm going, what, we, we could do those in planetariums since the 1970s. And now we can do sunlight. You know, and don't don't tell me what we can't moon. do. They fired uh, lasers up at the moon before Apollo ever landed there and got a ping back. Right. Yeah. It's just the so, nature of the moon, but now they've decided to say it's because they put these reflectors well, on the moon. Well, you know what? If, if this is really flat and those are fake up there, I think they did a pretty shitty job. They did you know, do a horrible job. It's not that impressive. <laughs> why isn't there something cool up there? Why isn't there something like, cool up there? Why has China, yeah. when they say they're there with a rover or whatever, gone over to show everybody on Earth the the, the moon buggy and the, uh, you know, the flag? Why, why did this it's not there. Y why, did this, why did the space race end? You know, why did... Um, um, you know, well, why... that is weird, the defunding. It's totally and weird. The... It's completely... Yeah, that I don't like. No. I don't like it either. I, I... We should explore. We are so much more advanced technologically than we were in the 60s. Why aren't we like... Why, why isn't there a subway on the moon right now? Well, NASA no. announced a new initiative to go back you can't to the moon. Even get a Wait, no, 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 no. Every ball. president since Reagan right. has said we're going back, and they just keep <laughs> kicking work, that man. can down Any the road. Space Nobody's force. going back. <laughs> I want to see Space Force show up. Oh, yeah. By the that, way, space, you know, the, there's there's logistical space problem with Space Force. You can't do Space Force, and here's why. The recruiting for Space Force would completely drain all the recruiting from Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard. Nobody would join those other branches. Everyone would think, oh, it's Starship Troopers or it's Marines from uh, Aliens. No, Dude, no. You wouldn't join Space Force? No, no, you would, but you can't. The other, the ar other armed forces wouldn't allow it. Because no and one would join. Nowhere. No you'd one's going into right the Navy if Space Force is, <laughs> exists. It's never going to happen. So, one one thing that I kind of found cool, and I have no idea how to explain, it, is you believe the stars are a big display. Yeah. Now that's Mark's belief. It's not everyone's. Th these are the things that keep the community a bit does, divided. Does this because go we are on? speculating. We are right. speculating. Does this go with the simulation, Mark? That they're. Does it go with the simulation? It, that it, it goes hand in hand with it. But I mean, we yeah. can do. Look, we can do stars. That again, that is not a hard thing. I mean, look, we gotta remember, we ha didn't even have HD television until about twenty years ago. Imagine what we could do in a hundred years if we survived that long. We could come up with all sorts of, of great down? stuff. What happens when like something falls from? The okay, earth? okay, like the gravity question. Okay, no, what is I, that? I, I am, I am the first one to say that I think gravity exists to a certain point. People say, oh, it's buoyancy, it's density. Mm -hmm. It's like, look, main, the, actually, the difference between what I say is gravity and what neil tyson says is gravity they're pretty close and he says well it's this invisible molecular force that pulls things down and i say yeah and i say same sort of thing it pulls things down only the difference is he says well they pull they pull to a center of the earth and i say just pull things straight down what about the actual things that have fallen like in russia or the huge crater sweats from the do you think that's like a maybe a star that fell that they didn't like tighten enough like what, what no do you, you mean like uh, like fall? like like the trubin show tightened that's funny though but yeah. and by the way can you prove to me something really fell? Well, I mean, there's pieces of rock, right? Uh, okay, so have you have you studied right. that rock? Well, you know, people but, have, but, you know, moon that rocks trust. were studied, and guess what they were found to be? Petrified wood. Right. It's in museums. Mm -hmm. What? Can you true. give me a link to that? Finding? Look it up. Just look up. Look up. Moon rock petrified <laughs> well, wood. It, it is easy like to find in Google. Evidence. It was a it was a so gift you... from one of the uh, the astronauts uh, to some king in the Netherlands or something like that, and they took it to an analyst. And anyway, it doesn't really well, matter. There's what, what else? nothing Plan somebody could present to you to change your mind at this point, right? What would what would someone have to produce to make you believe that we were the okay. globe? Uh, two things for me. One would be a 4K camera put on the top of a capsule, launched. You do not turn it off. You do not hit the edit button and you mm -hmm. let the earth curve from beneath. It's never, ever happened to where you're leaving, which should have been done, by the way, with the Tesla car. We won't get into that right now. But if you want an on the ground experiment that would absolutely help me get there, uh, put me in an astronaut suit and put me in a vacuum chamber because it shouldn't work like that. It defy The astronaut suit defies the second law of thermodynamics. And that is pressure needs a container. It needs a container. If it's a soft container, it goes rigid like a basketball. And if it's a hard container, well, then it presses on the outside. But the spacesuit defies all that. It's absolutely flexible. The fingers work great. That sh the astronauts should turn into parade floats. It should burst well, like and they should all die. like you say, we're being lied to. They probably have technology we don't know about. No, so no, no, no. Don't, don't tell me it's layers. Completely. No, I looked into this at great length. Layers, the, my winter coat has layers. 
All right, it only keeps the cold out. Layers, a soft layer fabric will not stop the vacuum of space will not do it. I've talked to industrial vacuum experts. They all say the same thing. It's like the ISS should not exist the way that it's advertised. Spacesuits, no way, no how. The Apollo astronauts, you, you've got self-contained spacesuits that are not you only keeping... You can always find people on both sides who will say that things should or shouldn't be that way, right? That's well, the problem. Even well, that's just it, though. We can, don't believe we we can, saw spacesuits for ourselves, every... Mark and I, here in Houston. We went and toured the history, I mean, the, the Houston yeah. uh, Science Museum. We saw what they look like. They literally look like nothing yeah they is, don't is, look like they it, really it literally look like in fact the the parts. early so is the, the space station up there is the space station somewhere up there there's something no. flying around up there right. yes are there people in it not a chance no. in hell no so there's satellites up there or no sure you why not i mean the, okay. look, well, NASA, balloons, look up high altitude not, nasa not what they say yeah nasa has been running a high altitude balloon program since the 1950s it is not secret they can load stuff up to four tons and it's like, okay, if you're loading stuff up to four tons, what are you using rockets for? Eh, the rockets are just for show. So, I've met Chris Hadfield. He's a Canadian. He came to the radio station. Uh, he brought pictures. He did a series of videos. You know, the, the iconic playing David Bowie, right. uh, Starman, or whatever. Right. You're saying he's a liar, or... Is yeah, yeah, I am. I, and by the way, I'm section. saying that, look, Chris Hadfield, Terry Virts, uh, Tim Peake, all those guys, right? They're colonels in the United States and or Canadian military. They're full bird colonels, right? If you get up to that sort of level, look, you're following orders. You're doing what you're told, and that's it. You do not you get think to anybody question. would leak this with this society these days. Like there'd be nobody to talk about this that's been there. Or who's who's going to whistle blow? Where are you going to go? If you if, let's say you were an mm -hmm. astronaut, right, that's and you all of a sudden de though. develop this crisis of conscience, who are you going to go to exactly? You're gonna go to the, the national paper. You're gonna, You're gonna go to make CNN? a podcast like you guys and reach millions. And how, and how long? Yeah, yeah, how long is that gonna last? That you need for your family Sorry. and what might happen to your family? Yeah. Maybe you're rich already. You even you even it think about matter. doing what, that? Your, your, if your family can be potentially taken from you, it doesn't matter how much money. By who have. though? Who are we talking? We never answered that. The question. ones who are keeping the secrets, and I don't call them they. I call oh, them the, the powers ones that they, should not be the cowards. But it it, it is, no, it is kind of a scapegoat for. It is kind of a scapegoat for this omnipresent power that can unite governments. Well, everything the governments in the letter seems to be us, very right? loosely defined, Matt, right? Everybody has different yeah. opinions on what it could be. They don't really know what it is. I just want to see you guys kind of break down like, and, and prove this stuff. I hope somebody sends you guys to Mars or to the moon. I think that that's Mars. the best. So in yeah. your lifetime, unless they fail. Never, no, ever going to happen. No I one's going to the moon. This, where, is Mar where is Mars? <laughs> where, Mars is just a little the red light, light in the sky. on a ceiling. <laughs> Why Saturn rings are just a hanger and it's somebody spinning. Are well, there other why would allies and yeah, and yeah, sorry, I, so, so, what? Why would why would governments agree to keep the secret though? That that's my thing too. If I were a government, I wanted to stabilize North America and say, here's proof that the Earth yeah, is China flat. We've got pictures be and everything. Because that, this right? because this right. has the potential of destabilizing everything. Literally everything overnight. Wouldn't people like Russia like that? Like or you know They're Putin? in on it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the I mean, very it's... higher levels. They're faking space and always have been. Yeah. This look, the, the space race was not some competitive thing. This was just a way to build up the technology. Really? I watched Rocky Four. It seemed like we had it in for I well, Back I then, sure, but come on, Russian. that that record <laughs> that record is played. So, come John, on. are you a believer? After talking about all this, what do you think? I, I still have a lot of questions. I think that we could go like for three more hours, but, but, but we can't. So, yeah. so why um, don't you guys tell us where people can yes. find your podcast or whatever else you're doing these days? Patricia, all right. Um, my YouTube channel is called Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes. Please subscribe. And um, I do various podcasts with different Flat Earth people, and they are about Flat Earth, but other topics as well. In fact, I just did one on CBD oil and cannabis oh for health. Oh, my God. So, uh, John just Ooh, started. Wait, wait, wait. Now we can talk. Now we yeah, can talk. And Max that's, uh, <laughs> that's Flat Earth and other hot potatoes. So other hot topics that, that a lot of people don't want to talk about. That's what we do. We do video games yes. and other stuff like nice. that. Yeah, too. there you um, go. Right. You've got the same thing going. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, Louder Than Bombs is one of my favorite <laughs> albums. But Patricia, All right. Your well, you know what? A... Love this. <laughs> I, I I bonded with you because your dad was a radio station owner. And, and uh, I like uh, Meat is Murder personally. So <laughs> I like Blower and Bombs better. Girl yeah, three. you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, we thank you guys for joining us. I hope we weren't too disrespectful, but oh. you know what? That's to be, you guys have probably heard way worse. Yeah. Oh yes. In oh fact. yeah. <laughs> And you guys are funny and good natured, and um, you know you might think we're crackpots, but we yeah. are very serious. We were rep we were represented incorrectly in the film, but we're still glad it's out there because right. it's caused more attention toward it. And I, for one, appreciate you having us on. 
Well, thank you. I look forward to proof in the future. That's what I want to say. I'll be following. uh, uh, Michelle and I do a show called Midnight Caller. Maybe we'll have you come back sometime. We talk about conspiracies. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Happy to. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, thank you, guys. So, all right. Well, thank you very much. And, uh... Mark, did you plug your... Uh, oh, help? yeah, sorry. Uh, just Google Flat, <laughs> Flat Earth Clues. And by the way, uh, don't take anything for what I say seriously. Uh, do your own research and ask questions and figure it out for yourself. I think that's a hint you. that you don't believe this bullshit, Mark. No, no, no. No, 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 no I absolutely that's believe it. <laughs> that's what we had to do. We don't, we're, not, uh, we're not preachers. We're not trying to recruit. We do encourage people to do their own research. Do so you right. think I'm a sheep? No. Oh, no, no. I love sheep anyway. No, look, cute. I can't look. La- last last thing for me. Sheep. I can't yell and I can't criticize. Look, you guys can come at me as hard as you want. It's not going to make a difference. Look, I was you. I was on the other side for a long, long time. And then I was like, oh, crap. I can't be on there anymore. So. <laughs> well, it's a lot so easier where you guys it. are. Yeah. Yeah. Trust us. It is. All right, well, thank you very much. We'll, uh, we'll maybe be talk in touch. To you we'll be yep. following your work. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.